Hello and welcome to Sports Hub, the first in the month of October 2023. I'm so excited to be here. And it's also a busy week, this one, because the Copper Queens will be participating in the 2023 Kosafa Women's Championship. And their first game is on Thursday, which is 5th of uh, October against Mozambique. Then on Saturday to be the under 20 that would want to qualify uh, for the World Cup for the very first time. Remember the under 17 has been to the World Cup and the senior team was just recently at the World Cup and so the under 20 will also be campaigning and they'll be up against uh, the Congo DR to be an interesting match. Well for the continental representatives unfortunately they are out, powered animals out but they were out while trying and then Musa also are out so no more continental games for Zambia so a lot of stuff interesting items and uh, today I'm going solo unfortunately I don't have Esther uh, with me as well as Julia so I'm sure they should be joining me next week but feel free to participate on the program because we have a number of things lined up for you um, you can send us a message on um, Facebook on uh, that's a sports our Facebook page or modern sync color sports or call us directly on 0211 25 30 25 or a WhatsApp message on 0955 20 So today we'll start with how much do you know your sportsmen and women? How much do you know your sportsmen and women? Let's recap on what we showed you last week. Unfortunately, no one caught in. Uh, maybe I knew it was a tough one. I knew I was going to, uh, most of you are going to struggle to identify. So let's recap. Um, uh, you know, last week I hosted Azif Banda, who is the first referees manager, and he identified that man. He's a legend in Zambian refereeing, uh, Kabalamuna Chayu. He officiated uh, the AFCON final in 1976. Uh, maybe some of you were not there, <laughs> including myself, but uh, yes, that's the history. By then, the Africa Cup of Nations was being played in a round-robin format, as opposed to now where you go to the final, where Janice Sikazwe, remember Janice Sikazwe officiated the final in 2017. Uh, but for him, it was played on a round-robin basis, but the match that he officiated was the last match, and it was a determining match. So that's uh, the late Kabalamuna Chayu. Unfortunately, he died in 2016. Uh, but today, I have another one for you. I want you to identify another legend on that photo. Can you identify him? Who is that man on the photo? How much do you know your sportsmen and women? The number to call us on is 0211-253025. Or you can send us a WhatsApp message on 955 20 or you go to Facebook, Modern Sinkala Sports, or, what, or, or Sports Hub Facebook page. All right. So I'll be waiting for you to call in. And remember, uh, there's another caller who called from Mundola. He got the answer correctly. He answered that. He answered uh, the answer correctly uh, for Hilary Makasa. So I'll be waiting. Contact us so that we can give you your talk time. All right, we move on to the results segment. We see what happened over the weekend. And we start with basketball in the Midlands Basketball Association MBA League with 17 and 18 games played on 30th and 1st October 2023 in the Super League. It was Unza Pesas 90, Bulldogs 80. LCC Luta 72, Red Arrow 63, Huskies 37, Matero Magic 87, Green Buffaloes 46, Napsa Hurricanes 63, Munali Suns 95, Hawks 57. In the Feminine League, it was Magic Sparks 67, Mystics 29, Hot Spurs 37, Lusaka Basket Queen 62, Unza Hanis 9, Green Buffaloes 81. What a white was this one was Napsa Breeze 48, Dolphins 57. So that's in the world of uh, basketball. From basketball, we go to netball in the Midlands Netball Association. Minna Premier League with 17 games played at Unza in Lusaka. So these games were played on Saturday and it was Kalingalinga United 35, Green Eagles 39, a difference of four goals, Red Arrows 43, Green Buffalo 60, Napsa 35, Nkwazi 41. Unza 17, Lusaka City Council 62. So Green Buffaloes continue leading 
on the table in the Midlands Netball Association League. From uh, the Midlands, we go to the Copper Belt in the Copper Belt Netball Association Corner Premier League with 10 games played at Athadevi Stadium Netball Court in Kitwe. And these were the final games of the league played on Saturday. It was Community Queens 24. Kitwe Rifles 20, Kansanshi Foundation 38, Ndola Stars 13, Chiwenzi 28, Kopala Queens 19. So with these results, it meant Kansanshi Foundation of Solwezi are the champions of the corner league. And uh, they finished with a 100% record. They won all the 10 games. Congratulations to Kansanshi Foundation of Solwezi. From netball, we go to football in the CAF Champions League. Earlier on, I mentioned... Power Dynamos tussling with Simba of Tanzania, and that match ended 1-1. Unfortunately, Power Dynamos were eliminated. Uh, Simba qualified on away goals rule. So on aggregate, it was 3-3, but Simba scored two goals away from home in Zambia. So that meant they had an advantage over Power Dynamos. And uh, this thing of away goals rule has been uh, gotten rid of in, the, in Europe, so in Europe, there's nothing like away goals rule because you can score anywhere. There's nothing like, uh, no, you, when you score more goals away, then you are given an advantage. So if it's, it was in Europe, then they were going to go to extra time, then penalties. So unfortunately, Power Dynamos is out. In the CAF Confederation Cup, it was Diabo Noir 2, FC Musa Neo. And this also meant that Diabo Noir of Congo Brazzaville qualified to the group stages of the competition after winning 4-1 on aggregate. So too bad for the Zambian teams. It means all the teams have been eliminated and now they have to concentrate on the Zambian League. We now go to the MTN Super League with six results on Saturday. It was Mutondo Stars 2, Mufulila Wanderers 1, Red Arrows 1, Napsa Stars new, Sesco United 3, Green Eagles 2, Zanako new, Prison Leopards new. Then on Sunday, it was Kansanshi Dynamos new, Sharp, Concola Blades, Akareza 1, Nkana new, Trident new. This was Nkana's second point of uh, the season so far out of uh, the six games played. Then Cabo Warriors won in quasi one. So it's still very tight in the Zambian Super League. Then we go to the second tier, which is the first National Division One League with six results. It was Jumulo one, National Assembly new, Chipata United one, Kafue Eagles new, Young Prison Leopards two, Atletico Lusaka one, Lumana Radiance two, Indeni one, City of Lusaka one, Zesco Malaiti Rangers new. So City of Lusaka have gone back to the summit of the table. Young Green Buffaloes two, Mpulungu Youth two. Green, Young Green Buffaloes also doing very well. Kito United new, Quattro Kalumbila new, Mpulungu Haba new, Chambishi new. Those were the results in the National Division One League. We move on to the first Women's Super Division League with three results. On Saturday, it was Kafue Celtic Queens new. Um, Green Eagles women, three. Chipata girls, new. Trident Queens, one. Police Staff Queens, one. Kamthinsa Blue Eagles, new. Then um, Kwasi Queens, one. ZISD women, one. Red Arrows women, two. Elite Ladies, one. Indeni Roses, one. Queens Sports Academy, new. So Indeni Roses are on top with nine points. They've won all their games. On Sunday, it was Luyando Foundation, new. Green Buffaloes women, two. Their first three points for Green Buffaloes and their first game. National Assembly women one, Zanako ladies two. That was in the Women's Super League. All right, we wind up in terms of results with the English Premier League with seven results on Saturday. It was Aston Villa six, Brighton one, Bournemouth new, Arsenal four, Everton one, Luton Town two, Manchester United new, Crystal Palace one, Newcastle United two, Burnley new, West Ham United two, Sheffield United new, Wolverhampton Wanderers two, Manchester City one, Tottenham Hotspur two, Liverpool one. This was a controversial game, uh, which has led to the VAR officials being uh, sus being suspended, so they won't be officiating some matches to come. Then uh, on Sunday it was Nottingham Forest one, Brentford one. Then, uh, tonight, as I'm talking, there's a game going on right now in the English Premier League. Fulham versus Chelsea. It kicked off at 21 hours. So, uh, we'll keep on updating you on how that match will be. So, 
that's it in terms of results. It was a shocking weekend. Uh, some teams that were supposed to win did not win, and I'm sure those who bet lost, lost, out, lost out some money over the weekend. Right, so before I introduce my guest in the studio, let's dance to a song done by MC Wabuino, and this one is titled Ona Kayako. Mingala, 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 tu. Yeah! Ati mingala, 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 tu. Yeah! Ma zambia ni jiporo polo mare. Jiporo polo mare. Ma zambia ni jiporo polo mare. Ni jiporo polo. Bisha, bisha, bisha. Ona kaya ko. Yeah. 
That's MC Wabu, you know, with Ona Kayako dedicating it to the Copper Queens who will be tussling it out at the Kosafa Women's Championship 2023. And they start their first game on Thursday with Mozambique at 15.30, wishing them all the best. And also the under-20 women's national football team will be campaigning in the World Cup qualifiers. Time for me to introduce my guests in the studio. He is a Chipolopolo of Matero in bodybuilding. He was once Mr. Matero, and at some point, uh, he didn't compete. We'll find out why, but he's here now. He reclaimed it. There was a championship on Saturday. I'm talking about William Sichone, and he has his trophy with him. Good to have you. Good. Muliuli. Chet. Okay. <laughs> you can take a seat. <laughs> William Sichone. So we'll find out who he is, how he started bodybuilding and all that. And at a later stage, I'll be talking to also my material gym secretary, um, Charles, um, Charles uh, Chiwala. He'll be joining us later on. But uh, for starters, uh, tell us about yourself. Who is William Sichone? When were you born and where? How was your bringing like? I was born in 1992, that's 11 November, in Matero, a seat within a seat. Right. Yeah, I did my primary school at Kasamba Bezi, did my secondary school at Patero Boys Secondary. Later when I joined Kablonga Boys, that's where I competed. Interesting. So basically you've been born and bred in Matero? Yes. Right. Hmm, okay. Um, um, how many are you in your family and... Um, what number are you? We're well, the five of us. I'm the only boy in the family. Okay. And, you know, we call that in Namwanga, Karikonga. Yeah. So you are Karikonga, <laughs> meaning yeah. you're the only one. <laughs> okay, interesting. Are you a family man? Do you have a, fa a family of your own? Yeah, I'm a family man. Okay. How many kids and all that? Three. Three kids? Yes. Interesting. And would you want your kids to be, to be in bodybuilding like yourself? Definitely, I would want that for my baby boy. Ah, okay. Yeah. Right. Okay, so tell us about your journey. Uh, how did you get into sports? Uh, by the way, before bodybuilding, while I was at school, were you involved in other sports activities? I've never been involved in other sports activities apart from bodybuilding itself. Okay, so what were you doing at school when others are going for PE, they're going for what? What were you doing? I, I used to do some of this uh, volleyball. Okay. Yeah. From there, I switched. Uh -huh. I started bodybuilding the time I was in school. Okay. Yeah. I did my first competition when I was at Kablonga Boys. That mm. was in grade 12. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know that there was uh, bodybuilding in schools. The school where I was, there was nothing. I think the only sports disciplines which were there were football, netball, and athletics. No, I did my first competition in the, the same Mr. Matero when I was at Kablonga Boys. Oh, Mr. Matero. Yeah. Okay, okay. Mm, by then, I'm sure you should have been 17 or so. Yeah. Right. And um, who inspired you to be in bodybuilding? My main inspiration in bodybuilding was Ron Coleman. Okay. Yeah. Who is that man? He's a say, eight times winner of Mr. Olympia. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you were watching him on TV and all that? Watching him on TV, magazines. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And you thought, I have to be like him. Definite. Okay. So uh, run us through how has, um, how has your journey been? So um, first competition when you are still at Kabulonga Boys, how, how was it? How was the first competition? My first competition, I came out number eight. That was uh, Mr. Matero. Later on, after finishing school, I stopped bodybuilding. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I mean, indulged in all this in business activities. Mm -hmm. From there, again, I had to re make a comeback in the sport. I did my my first Mr. Zambia, that was in 2016. I came out number five. Mm. Yeah. Then from there, the journey continued. I went for Mr. Mr. Lusaka. That was another competition which I came out number one. I'm the kind Mr. Lusaka as we are speaking. From there, I went to the Copper Belts. I did Mr. Independence. I came out number one. I was the first one to scoop Mr. Independence from, from the Copper Belts. Because usually when that show is at the uh, Copa Belts, mm. guys from there used to dominate. Mm. Yes. Mm. Okay. Right. So I'm interacting with uh, uh, Mr. Matero, 
Where are you there in that pot, in that uh, video? The one on the middle there. Ah, there, right. <laughs> so that's his body there. Here you can see it. It looks like it's hidden because he's, he's in a t-shirt and <laughs> and all that. So, so that's how you prepare when you are preparing for for a, for a, competition. a big competition. Yes. Right. How how heavy is that weight? That should be uh, one sixty. Mm. Then that's a five eighty squat. Mm, 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 mm. And how often do you do that? Uh, squats usually we do them twice in a week. Okay. Yes. Okay. We divide the body parts according to days. Uh -huh. yeah. So they are trying to build your um, the legs, your legs, your leg muscles. Yes. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> that's at the Matero gym. No, that's a pro gym. Oh, pro gym. It's okay. So, wow. I wanted to say mm, things have changed at Matero gym. <laughs> Mr. Chwala, will come and tell us more in terms of uh, what improvements have been at Matero gym and uh, what kind of training is that one? Uh, that's squat. That's for the legs too. Okay. Yes. Uh, how heavy is that weight? That's a one sixty. Right. Yeah. And that's uh, Mr. Matero competition at the weekend. Yes. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, run us through how was uh, how was the competition? The competition was tough considering we the current Mr. Matero mm. who I just dethroned. That's mm. Jack, and there was another Mr. Matero, Zimanu Mkonde. Mm -hmm. He was also a, 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 a competing. Right. Yeah. So you've won Mr. Matero before. Uh, that was in 2017. Yes. Right. Then what happened in between? I had to. I, I, I stopped bodybuilding by that time. After winning the competition, I stopped bodybuilding. I indulged myself into the business activities. Mm -hmm. Later on, I made a comeback. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you thought maybe bodybuilding was not profitable. You concentrated on something that will give you money. Ah, but building is not something that is profitable. We do it for the sake of passion. Okay. Yeah, it's a total investment whereby we invest a lot in the sport. Whereby we can't get what we invest in the sport. So it's all about passion. If mm. you start doing bodybuilding building for the sake of getting money out of it, mm. then you end up stopping. Mm. Well, um, so on a day-to-day -day situation, how, how is your your day like? Like you wake up, let's say. The whole week. How do you plan your your week? I usually like from Monday to Sunday. From Monday to Sunday. Mm. I train. F I train six times in a week. Okay. Apart from Sunday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what plays along is discipline uh, within the week. Mm -hmm. okay. Dieting, mm -hmm. training, rest. Okay. Yeah. Uh, last time I hosted Sylvester Muira here, and uh, he told us that. Uh, in one day, he can finish a tray of eggs in, in one day. How is your diet like? Uh, that's true. You can finish according to the intake of protein you're getting from the same eggs. Mm. Yeah. So you, how many trays of eggs do you finish in a day? Uh, definitely, it's not even a tray. Sometimes maybe I would go for 20, 15. What? 15 trays of eggs? No, f 10, uh, as oh, in eggs. 10 eggs in yeah. a day? Yeah. So it means, <laughs> so it means in in one week. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're saying it's expensive. It's so expensive. It, in one week you may need the, may, maybe seven trays of, of of eggs or so in one week. Yeah, so, and mm. it's supposed to be a bus that we are not only talking of, of eggs. Mm -hmm. We're talking of fish, chicken, fruits. Mm. And and what's the frequency of the meals? Um, how often are you supposed to be eating? It's five meals in a day, divided but small portions. Okay. Yeah. Nothing like eating shima too much, because <laughs> you don't even get anything from shima. Yeah. It's not that nutrition, unless we talk of roller meal, prepared shima, uh -huh. not this breakfast. Mm, 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 yeah. Mm. Right. So I'm interacting with um, William Sichone, who is current Mr. Matero, just sharing with us his journey where he is coming from and all that. But remember, we asked you that question. You can give us a call. Let's just um, recap on that photo that we showed you so that you know which, which photo you are answering to today, which sportsman you are identifying today. How much do you know your sportsmen and women? And um, last week, unfortunately, I couldn't receive any call. Uh, let's see if you identify uh, the one we have for you today. Are you able to identify 
the sportsman we are showing you today. You can give us a call on 0211 0211 253025 0211 Yes, that's the sportsman we are highlighting today. Can you identify that sportsman? And the numbers are crawling on the screen. Get in touch with us to tell us who that sportsman is on the uh, photo. So, um, yeah, you are telling us that you, you were, um, you know, competing with the previous Mr. Matero. How, how did you do it different to make sure that you retain the title that you were holding in 2017? Uh, it's all about being strategic. You have to bring a, a game whereby there's no plan B. You see among the, themselves, the way they are looking, what are their weaknesses, mm -hmm. how to attack. That's the main strategy there. Okay. Because if you come the same, it's not easy to dethrone a current champion. Mm -hmm. So you have to be very strategic about that. Okay. Yeah. So when you saw them, when you saw the way they were posing, did you have confidence that you were going to scoop it or maybe it was a 50-50 chance? Uh, definitely, I saw that this is a walk of <laughs> according to experience. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Mr. Matero. So um, how many times have you competed in Mr. Zambia again? I've only competed in Mr. Zambia two times. Two times? Ah, uh, no, three times. Three times. The first attempt, I came out number five. The second attempt, I came out number two. The third, I came out number two. Out of frustration, I had to stop again. Because you, you found that it was, it was tough for you to dethrone Sylvester Mwila? Yeah, definitely. Hmm, okay. You see what persistence does. Um, Sylvester Mwila is no longer the champion of Mr. Zambia. Yeah. If you had persisted, maybe you were going to... Definitely, that's the way it was well. supposed to be. Mm. Yeah. Wow. So you mean when you came out number two, you beat the likes of Clement Shamboko, you beat the likes of um, the current Mr. Zambia, and all those? Yeah. Those were behind me. I've beaten Clement's Clement before. I've never competed with Nelson before because he was my junior. Okay. In the same category. So this, right. is the f the, this will be the first competition facing him. So this year you are competing in Mr. Zambia? This Zambi. year definitely I'm com competing for Mr. Zambi. And that's my main aim in the sport. Okay. How are you rating your chances? My chances? Yeah. We'll just use experience. Mm. And God knows the way. Right. Yeah. Mm. But do you feel the competition is still... Uh, competition is there, stiff. Mm. He's also preparing and I'm preparing. Okay. And since you've never won Mr. Zambia before... Um, how do you wish to prepare for this event? How I best do you think you can prepare? I just have to put in all my best, my level best. Right. Yeah. Stay focused. Okay. Right. Anyway, at this point, let me introduce the secretary for Matero Gym, and that's uh, Charles Chiwala. Uh, so that you can tell us about, um, you know, how the competition was and um, how they plan to... Um, you are welcome. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, That's, uh, he also... It looks like he also utilized the gym. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, definitely. <laughs> yeah, he also has uh, a huge body. Yeah. But I will test you, uh, you and him, on uh, arm wrestling. we see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It will go 50-50. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> we shall see. <laughs> so you had Mr. Matero over the weekend. How was it? Uh, I must say uh, this year's Mr. Matero was so exciting because we had uh, quite a number of spectators that came through. Uh, I must say it was a success. Right. Yes. How many competi competitors did you have? Yeah, we had 30 bodybuilders, of which we trimmed them down to 10, the final 10. The final 10 that the ones that got away with the prize. Right. Mm. Okay, so mm, 30 bodybuilders. Um, so did you have only one category or there were juniors as well? No, it was uh, just one category. Okay. Yes. Uh, juniors, seniors, all in one? All in one. Uh, okay. Yes, yes. All right. Um, in, uh, in the build-up to Mr. Matero uh, competition, we had a lady who was posing on Spot On. Um, how, was, how, how was it in terms of uh, performance for women as well? Actually, in a category, because uh, the prejudging started a bit early, uh, in a category she came out first. Oh, yes, okay. Yes. Wow, interesting. Yeah. 
Mm. Mm. So, um, how can you describe the level of competition in uh, in Matero? Um, the level of competition is is, is getting uh, the number is getting bigger and bigger each time. Because if we compare this year's Mr. Matero and last year's Mr. Matero, uh, this time around we had a lot of bodybuilders that came forth to just come and compete and show off their muscles. Mm -hmm. Yes. So yesterday we had, uh, we had 15, this time around we had 30 bodybuilders. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, just in the background here, I can see on the photo, I can see uh, William lifting the trophy there. Um, I can see some uh, some faces I can't recognize. Who are you able to identify these people? Yeah, yeah, about? sure, sure. Mm. Yes, yes. Yes. Uh, so th uh, there is uh, uh, near the champion himself. Mm. Uh, that's um, the, our main sponsor, which uh, which were Mika Mika Lire Trading. Okay. Uh, in collaboration with uh, Mika Meats. Okay. Yes. Then uh, followed by that's the chairman for Matero Gym. Oh. Mr. Suban Patel, yes. Oh, that's the new chairman for Matero. Yes, yes. So okay. 2023, we had the new chairman. That's oh, our new nice, chairman. Nice, nice. Then after the chairman, that is Mr. Lim Kupa, the councillor for Matero Gym. Ah. He was our guest of honor. Ah, interesting. Yes, at the event, yes, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, there's also, uh, that's the president for the mother body, which is ZBBF. Okay. That's Mr. Jackson Nkoma. Interesting. Yes. Then uh, the one with tag number one. Then the one with tag number one, that was the, the runner's up. What's his name? Uh, uh, Jonas, Kaonga. Jonas Kaonga. Okay. He came out second, yes. So the defending champion was not even anywhere near? The, no, but the defending champion came out third. Yeah, like yeah, I said, yeah, this yeah, time yeah, around, yeah, yeah. Mr. Matero was so competitive. And the one who came out second uh, previously came out number seven. Came out number seven yeah, this time yeah, around. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, people had prepared. <laughs> yeah. People had prepared. Yeah. So mm. Matero Jim, uh, the last time I was there, um, um well the, the, the equipment was, was was quite old. I think maybe Dating as far back as maybe 1964, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. um, how is Matero Gym now? Um, I, I can say from uh, from the time we started up to now, there's not much that has changed. Mm -hmm. uh, looking at it, uh, uh, of late, we've be just been using the same so-called compound weights, the ones that are a bit odd. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, uh, this time around, we just sort of uh, trying to arrange for for resources so that you can replace new equipment mm -hmm. looking at the crowds the crowds keep growing each and every mm -hmm. every month i might say so yes yeah so we are working towards uh, looking for resources and sponsorship okay. that can help us to bring in new equipment okay so, yeah, so that we can boost the, the magic yes. corporate bodies yes, or maybe yes. you can also utilize the cdf <laughs> yeah, we are working towards that. I, I, I was listening to the, the I was watching the, the other day the minister was was being interviewed. Mm -hmm. So I thought maybe this time around with the using uh, with the help of our mother body, maybe we can go through the minister's office, office so that mm -hmm. we can try to explain what bodybuilding is all about. Maybe yeah. from there, maybe they can come in to start sponsoring bodybuilding. Yeah. Yeah. Because Matero Gym has produced the likes of Nduba Shanabwato. Yes, yes, yes. Um, who yeah. else? Gabi 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 there's a lot, yes. But mm. if you look at the history of Matero Gym, mm. it, we, 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 it started way back, somewhere in 1986, 87, somewhere there. Mm. Yeah, so uh, at that time, we even used to have uh, uh, the people from the Copper Belt when they were going for Olympics. They would come through. Mm. Uh, remember, Matero Gym started as uh, a um, powerlifting house. There, when we just started near Tigers, mm -hmm. uh, Matero Tigers, there. Mm -hmm. that's where it started from. Mm -hmm. Then from there, it has been producing and producing champions. Right. Mm. Okay. Um, I don't know, some time back, I want to mention which the bodybuilder is. This bodybuilder, you know, after you know, getting some weights from uh, Matero Gym, was now beating up people and threatening people. <laughs> How are you doing as Matero Gym to make sure that your members are disciplined, even when they go in the communities, they are well-disciplined people? Yeah, when we, we started, you know, uh, uh, when we, f we first uh, like started with the bodybuilding, 
we had noticed uh, and uh, had gotten some reports within the community itself that uh, the approach uh, towards uh, the community from our, our gym members by then uh, was, was not that, that good towards. Mm -hmm. So as material gym, um, sometime, since, uh, sometime between, I think, 20, 2012 to 2014, we started, we opened up a, a discipline class, like what you call a discipline class in material mm -hmm. gym. Mm -hmm. So I can confirm, say from that time, when we started coaching them and teaching them how to behave when they're in public, mm -hmm. uh, we've not had any report since that time. Okay. Yeah, so we got, it's like we, we uh, it's, it's, been, it's been our tradition since then, after hearing the community uh, coming out with sorts of, of uh, sorts of, um, uh, the issues concerning the bodybuilders. Yeah. So we just sat down as the material gym legions uh, committee. We sat down and, and discussed on how we, how best we can help our bodybuilders in terms of discipline. Okay. So from then, that's when we started. Like we sit down with them weekly, monthly, annually. We sit down and teach them how to behave towards the same. Okay. And we had to put in. Doesn't it? Does it was not that easy, but we had to to like put in rules that the bodybuilder is supposed to follow. Right. That from then, uh, from that time up to now, we have not had any report of, of uh, bodybuilders harassing or beating up people in the street. Okay, so what are some of the punitive me measures? You chase them away from the gym if you hear they are <laughs> misbehaving? Yeah, I can say we are a source of discipline within material itself. Okay. Yeah, for, uh, for instance, maybe if a report comes to say, a bodybuilder maybe harass someone or beat up someone, mm -hmm. we immediately call that person. In the presence of the, the, person, the, the person that has brought in the issue, we simply expel. We don't tolerate any mis, 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 uh, misbehaving okay. within the community itself. All right. Yes, so discipline we've already and we have and will ever condemn uh, violence within the bodybuilding family. All right. Yes. William, how do you handle a situation where you are being provoked and sometimes you may be tempted like to beat someone up? How do you <laughs> handle yourself? <laughs> uh, it's all about self-control. Mm. Yeah. Okay. But mm. you face such situations where someone is provoking you and all that. Yeah, and that, that, those are just some of the, 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 the things that we are trying to, 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 uh, to teach them mm -hmm. each time when we have... Uh, yeah, like when you come to material gym, it's not, not all about just powerlifting and bodybuilding. Mm -hmm. There are times when you just sit and educate each, each other concerning how to live with the community, how to live with the family. So it's more, more than just the bodybuilding itself. All right. Yes. How many members do you have at the moment? I, at the moment, I can confirm we have about 160 members. What? Yes, of which uh, I think uh, 30 to uh, yeah, 30 to about 40. They are what we call the patrons of materialism, the legions of materialism. Okay. Yes. Mm. And out of that number, how many participate in bodybuilding? Uh, we have about we have about 45, of which from the 45, only about 30 are active into bodybuilding. Okay. Yes, yes. And women, how many do you have? Uh, women uh, in aerobics, I uh, can confirm we have about our 25. Okay. Uh, yes. In the, the, in the, the, the women's wellness, the ones that are preparing me this time for Mr. Zambia, mm -hmm. we have six. Okay. Confirmed six, yes, that I'll take, will take part in this year's competitions. All right. And so what are you doing to help your bodybuilders to make sure that at least Matero Gym will produce a Mr. Zambia. Uh, is there something you are doing to make sure that your bodybuilders are well prepared ahead of Mr. Zambia? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, in t in, in, even though uh, a lot of challenge comes in when bodybuilders are pre preparing, so what we, we, we do at mo uh, most of the time is like we sit down, like I said earlier on, say w there's, there's a group of patrons and uh, old legends so when we try to look for resources like uh, food, supplements, and just the, in the general preparation for the bodybuilders, we like sit, mm -hmm. then decide, then plan on how we are going to take care of them in terms of uh, b preparing for the tournaments, how to eat, how to diet, how to, to train, and how to just keep self fit all the time. Okay. Yes. How much was the prize money in this trophy? Uh, with the economic challenge that we had, that we've had this year mm. with uh, running up and down looking for sponsorship. We only had to secure a 10,000 for the first prize. 
Okay. Yes. Nice. And, and run up? Uh, run up, walk out, walked away with uh, 5,000 kwacha. All right. Yeah, with some small, small prizes okay. that were donated by some material gym legends. All right. Mm. But um, I'm sure it will improve with time. Next year, maybe you gather more resources. Uh, because William mentioned of uh, you know the ex the sport being expensive. Yes, yes. For one to get the supplements and all that, sometimes you may not even recover the money that you put in. Yeah, it's very true. I, m m must, I must I must agree with him to say these sports is really demanding. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and uh, like I said, if uh, uh, we have more meetings with the motherboard, which is ZBBF, maybe they can have uh, access more access for for the board building uh, family to go through the minister's office so that they can come in to uh, look at, at, at our sport as mm. board building as the, the more and uh, the more beneficial sport to the board builders. Mm -hmm. yes. Right. Um, William, what has been the challenge to uh, beat, for instance, Sylvester Mwila? Maybe is it the height that maybe Sylvester is taller than you, so when he displays his muscles, <laughs> and, uh, what, what has been the, the challenge? Oh, no, it's not about height. It's mm. about the work that he, he has put in. Mm -hmm. Bodybuilding requires a lot of work. Yeah. To build a proper physique, you need discipline. Comes it's cardinal. Mm -hmm. It's the first priority. Okay. Yeah, as we speak, he's been Mr. Matero before. Oh. He, he was oh. a champion for, for Mr. Matero, 2010. In 2010, yeah. oh, wow. Yeah. And in 2010, that's when Sylvester Mwila became Mr. Zambia. Yes, yes. Wow, by then yeah. you were Mr. Matero, and you by contested then. in Mr. Zambia. Yes, I did contest and in Mr. Zambia. And uh, it, was, it was difficult for you also to beat Sylvester Mwila. Sure, sure, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Right. Mm. So with bodybuilding, the more, you, the more you age, the more your body loses shape. Is it, is it how it happens? Uh, no, like I said, bodybuilding is, I can say at the moment, for us in the bodybuilding family, we think it's the most expensive uh, sport so far. So the losing of shape is not all about uh, the age or thing or the like. Mm -hmm. Mostly it's about the resources. Okay. Yes. You are short for of resources at times. Yeah. So no wonder us, the bodybuilding family, we call it the most expensive sport so far. Because you need to look at how you are eating, how how much income is coming in. Because there, there are times when you just need to like eat the whole loaf of bread <laughs> alone, alone, <laughs> and imagine <laughs> if you can be doing that every day, and the resources are not that much supporting to you. What do you do? You end up like just relaxing or up. reducing on the yes, on reducing on the on the on the on the pumping of uh, the weights in the gym. Hmm. Mm. William, have you ever finished a loaf of bread alone? Uh, not really. <laughs> 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 okay. Um, well, what do you enjoy eating? Uh, it's all about a balanced diet. There's nothing like enjoying eating. Mm. You, we eat more or less like uh, people who have got diabetes because we eat b brown things. Okay. Yeah. Those, those are the foods that have got worse this too much. And nutrition mm -hmm. according to our sport. Right. Yeah. Mm. It's so not about so eating to enjoy, <laughs> it's to eat for the sake of the nutrition. <laughs> 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 okay. Um, which one are you here in this, this, uh, this photo in the background? On the middle. Okay, right. Yeah. So here you are displaying. That's the back. Okay. The back and the bent quads, the legs. So you can see the difference now there if you were to judge. Hmm, okay. I can just imagine the, the, the confidence of this man in the middle here. He, he looks small, but <laughs> if you look at the people he was competing with. <laughs> uh, this is sec his, sec his, his second attempt. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, I, I, I remember um, covering Sylvester Muira then uh, competing in Mr. Kawat. He was, he was quite small, so he started small. Yes, yeah. yes. And I remember yeah. he finished, he uh, should be... Uh, third at his first attempt and then later on he he picked up so um for you william how ma um how far would you want to go in the sport of bodybuilding going forward i would like to compete for these international competitions my main target is to even participate on the 
international stage, which is the Mr. Olympia. Okay. Yeah. And do you think you have what it takes to, to reach that level? Definitely. Okay. I have what it takes. Right. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, it's just a matter of, it's, it's, it's the issue of sponsorship. When you have enough resources, mm -hmm. then you, you are able to go further. So it's all about resources. If you have yes. resources, you can do anything, anything in bodybuilding. Anything, yes, in bodybuilding. Mm. Right. Mm. Uh, so apart from uh, bodybuilding, what else do you do? I'm a businessman. Okay. Are you able to share the type of business you deal with? So at, uh, Definitely. I've got a gym just uh, near Medisa Matero there. Oh, so there's another gym in Matero. Yeah, then I'm into supplying hardware. Okay. Yeah. Right, so when you're not in bodybuilding, you are there busy with uh, my okay. gym thing. I, I've seen most of uh, the bodybuilders also associate themselves with um, pubs and clubs. Do, do you do that? Uh, no, occasionally. Okay. Security is occasionally. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, do, do you find uh, challenges there, like when you are there manning and then just find someone just irritating you? And That's <laughs> the issue there. Yeah. That's why we try and avoid to work for pubs. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 All right. Wow. So um, before we go to the challenges, uh, I have two challenges on, on the two of you. So first, you, you do the ball juggling. Then second, you do arm wrestling. So I want to see who is the strongest between the two, since <laughs> both of you <laughs> have been bodybuilders before. <laughs> right. So... What about um, uh, being a strong man? Can you manage that that sport of being, you know, a strong man, uh, pushing weights and and pulling trucks and all that? Can you manage? Oh no, that's a different one from bodybuilding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. that, that I've seen some who've who've handled both, like Clement Shamboko. Yes. No, mm. no, not Clement Shamboko. Gatman Gatus. Yo, yes, 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 yes. He's in mm. America now. Yes, yes. Oh. Yes. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yes, 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 yes. Gutman, yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, him has managed to do both. He's competed in Mr. Zambia and also uh, uh, does a strongman championship. After he stopped bodybuilding, he joined the Federation for this, for powerlifting. Even Richard. Yeah, Richard Mwanza. Richard, yeah. uh, is it Banda or Mwanza? Yeah. Okay. So you, you don't want to venture into that? No. <laughs> okay, so gentlemen. Uh, let's go into um, the the challenges. Uh, you've never played football before. I've never played football. Before. What about you? No, I've never played football. <laughs> so strange. Because <laughs> <laughs> cause okay. I know when you were growing up, you'd play chimpombwa in the compounds and all that. Oh. But for you, it's a different case. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm wrestling a kid. Oh, okay. <laughs> so let's see how you can perform in terms of uh, uh, ball juggling. Who is going to be first? <laughs> Charles or William? No. William. <laughs> <laughs> okay, champion, you can show us what yes. you're able to do with your feet. <laughs> Bow juggling. Mm? Oh and uh, the, the, the boy is very much inflated. Yeah, so the boy is here. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> <laughs> How many? Three? Three, yeah. Okay, second attempt. Second attempt. One. <laughs> Third attempt. Hey. <laughs> okay. Okay. Charles, it's your turn. It's your we turn. Okay. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> the champion did better. Okay. One more attempt. One. One, two. <laughs> oh. Ah. Oh, yeah, the legs are heavy. Yeah, it's like left. Yeah, it's like left. Okay. Yeah. Let me test you on yeah. arm wrestling. Okay. So, uh, we'll move this here in the middle. Ah, somewhere here. Yes. So, Charles, you can be here. I can be here. Yes. Okay. And William there. So, which one are you strong on, right hand or left hand? Yes. Uh, that's the right, right. hand. Right. Yes. Okay. Mm. So, you rest your elbows here. Okay. And you also rest your elbows here. Okay. Then I'll count up to three. When I say go, that's mm. when you go. So, you'll be pulling this side, you'll be pulling the other side. 
Right. So, and time starts now. Young Gutatale Sai. <laughs> Is it this the one with the muscle? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, one, two, three, go. William versus Charles, they are both bodybuilders. One is running Mr. Matero just one at a weekend, and Charles won in uh, 20. Oh, we have a caller while these are stretching. Hello, good evening. As we are good trying evening, to find the champion here, and I'm resting. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, great. As we are witnessing, I'm wrestling here, <laughs> trying to tussle each other out. Your name and where you're calling us from? Yes, I'm Jonas Kambove calling you from Captain Poshi. Okay, great. Yeah, from Captain Poshi. Interesting. Do you want to answer the question we asked you? Mm, yes, of course. I can try. <laughs> <laughs> Who has won between the two? <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> Hello? There is too much noise from there. Okay. Hello? Uh, yes, yes, yes. So, do you want to attempt? Um, what's the answer to the question we asked you? Yes, yes. Mm, what's the answer? The line is, is breaking. Yeah, I'm saying what's the answer to the question we asked you on the photo? Uh, Who is that player? Oh, there, that's Dennis Locha. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> Dennis Locha. You are very sure, very sure, very sure. Very sure. Hmm, okay, thank you very much. I will announce uh, the answer shortly. We will see whether all you are right, right or right. not. Oh, okay, no, thank you very much. All <laughs> right, thank you very much. <laughs> so, gentlemen, it's a draw game, so it's not yes. about who has the more muscle. No, it's <laughs> about the experience. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, so unfortunately, we have to go now. So, the photo we are showing you, unfortunately, that is not Dennis Lota. That is Ian Bakala. That time when he was in form playing for the national team, Ian Bakala. Right now, he's the coach for Nkana Football Club. Though they are struggling, he's managed to get two points out of five games. So, that's uh, Ian Bakala. Right. So, I was hosting on the program uh, William Sichone, who is uh, current Mr. Matero. And also, former Mr. Matero, uh, Charles, uh, who is uh, also at the moment Matero Gym Secretary. So, until next week, at the same time, when I come with another set of guests, my name is Modern Tapechera Sinkala. Goodbye. <laughs>